Let's take function y is equal to fx. Suppose this is the graph of the function. This graph lies between uh, two horizontal lines y is equal to a and y is equal to b. So the range of this function is interval a to b. Also we can see that this graph lies between uh, two vertical lines x is equal to c and x is equal to d. So the domain of the function is interval c to d. Now consider a function y is equal to gx is equal to fx plus 2. We want to draw the graph of this function. Now clearly for uh, any value of x, the value of gx is 2 more than the value of fx. Let's see this on the coordinate plane. For that consider point uh, p x1 comma f of x1 on this graph. Now from this point move 2 units upward. So we get uh, this point q. The coordinates of this point are x1 comma f of x1 plus 2 because we are moving 2 units upward. So ordinate is increased by 2 units. Clearly this point uh, lies on the graph of gx is equal to fx plus 2 because this point satisfies this function. Let's take uh, several points uh, on the graph of fx. Now move two units vertically upward from each point. So we get this points. Joining this points, we get the graph of gx is equal to fx plus 2. So what is the mechanism? To get the graph of gx, move the graph of or shift the graph of fx two units vertically upward. Again, I am repeating, we have function fx plus 2 to get the graph of this, shift the graph of fx two units vertically upward. We can see that uh, range of this function is uh, interval a plus 2 to b plus 2. Now consider new function hx is equal to fx minus 3. For any value of x, the value of uh, hx is 3 less than the value of fx. Let's see this again on coordinate plane. Now from point P, move 3 units downward to get this point R. The coordinates of this point are x1 comma fx1 minus 3. Now this point lies on the graph of the function hx is equal to fx minus 3 because this point satisfies this function. That means to get the graph of fx minus 3, you shift the graph of fx 3 units vertically downward. You push the graph 3 units downward. We can see that the range of this function is a minus 3 to b minus 3. Also we can see that uh, domain of uh, each function is same that is c to d.